Alright guys, hello and welcome to another little tutorial that I'm doing. Uh, someone on my website asked me if I could show them how to download a server. I was uh, presuming it was for Feed the Beast because it was under that form. So that's what I'm going to do and uh, they also asked how to set it up. And so I'm going to show you guys that as well. So let's get it, go ahead and get started. So first things first, there are a few of the Feed the Beast packs that do not um, have a downloadable server. Uh, as you can see here, the the brownie mod pack does not have one. The uh, retro single player Feed the Beast for 1.2.5 does not have one. And I think the only other one is Voxel. Uh, so this does not have a um, download for the server. At least in its current version. They might update it uh, soon, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and show you guys... Uh, actually, I'm going to do it. I already have a Feed the Beast server, so it's going to mess up if I do it that way. So I'm just going to show you how to do it on the Feed the Beast beta pack. All, um, so this is just for this one, but obviously it's going to be the same across uh, all of these mods. Um, they're all going to be the same kind of setup and everything. It's just depending on what mod uh, you need the server for. So go ahead and select it and hit download server. Now, I haven't done this yet, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, I'll probably pause the video and wait. So as you can see down here uh, in the corner, it pulled up a w uh, window for uh, my Internet Explorer, or my Chrome, I guess. And it's going to slowly download. So I'll be back with you guys as soon as that's ready. All right, guys. So uh, now that you have downloaded the uh, server that you need, go ahead and open it up. Uh, so you're going to need WinRAR for this. Uh, I can put the link in the description as long as I remember to. Uh, so here you go. This is uh, the server stat start stuff and, and the properties and everything. So basically you just need to extract this to some place. So I'm going to make a folder real quick and just call it um, feed the beast server um, test. So there we go. Now it's going to go right there. Let me just drag it out real quick. So you need to extract this stuff so you can just go ahead and drag it right in here and it'll extract all the stuff for you. And here, let's load this up. Come on, there you go. Now this is everything that you need basically. Uh, so you can you know change all the configs just like you would in a single player. Uh, you know, um, where is it? Extra biomes, where is... Oh no, it's up here. Uh, one thing I do suggest doing, I, I figured this out, it, it causes a lot of lag. So if you come on in here real quick and go down to Marsh, if you want to change these to false, both of these, it will um, eliminate a Marsh generation, but that's going to increase your FPS on the server quite a lot. So go ahead and hit save and that's going to help out a lot. Uh, you can do this with single player too if you're having a lot of lag issues. If there's any marsh biomes that have been generated that's going to be your reason that you're getting a huge amount of uh, you know FPS drop and lag. So if you just turn those off it'll fix them for you. Uh, so anyway let's get back to this actual stuff. So all you got to do uh, first off let's go into server properties. Now this is where you know the technical stuff's going to start happening. Um, so as you can see, allow nether, the name of the level, uh, whether you want the query to be enabled or not. Uh, for this, I would say true, obviously, because uh, that's going to, and, and flight as well, because there are things that allow flight. Otherwise, people are going to start getting kicked. Uh, so you can change the default to uh, large biome if you would like. You don't have to, though. Level seed, you can put whatever you want in here, even if you've already generated uh, even you know, even if you've already started it and generated, after that everything is going to be you know generated on that seed. Any new stuff. So the server IP, you can put whatever you want. Obviously, mine is one two five point one five five point six four point six zero, and uh, but you would put your own obviously for that. Uh, so that's pretty simple. And all this other stuff, you know, is just NPCs, whitelist animals, a snooper, which is just uh, if you've seen it settings, it allows people to see what. Uh, mods are being used and stuff like that. Hardcore, yes or no, texture pack. Uh, let's see, online mode, PvP difficulty. So right now this is set to hard. Um, so you can change it to uh, zero is peaceful, one is easy, two is normal, and three is hard. So you can change it to whatever. I normally change it to two. 
a game mode zero is uh, survival one is creative and two is um, the adventure uh, max players obviously self-explanatory monsters structures this would include villages uh, which which houses uh, you know things like that uh, I think possibly um, mining shafts or you know abandoned mining shafts that's part of that as well view distance do not touch that that's you know that's nothing spawn distance or spawn protection this is a 16 block radius around where you spawn is going to be protected so that you know none of the area around there is going to be able to be broken unless uh, you are opt uh, so yep so go ahead and hit save once you've made your changes and go ahead click out um, we're in in config this is just all the feed feed the beast stuff you know you don't really have to worry about this if you have any mods you want to you know install you can put them in here um, you know all that kind of stuff uh, so let's go ahead this is how you start it you just click on one of these and it's gonna start up now I don't have you know any of that I don't, you know, I didn't put an IP address in or anything like that, so it's probably not going to actually do that much. Well, maybe it will actually. We'll see. Let's let's give it some time to. Yeah, it's preparing the level, so it is working a little bit. So it's gonna, you know, prepare the spawn area and it's gonna load up. And this is where you're gonna type out your commands. Once it's done, I think this will just uh, go away. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe not. But this, I think, yeah, that'll close both of them. But now you've got some new stuff in here. Uh, ops, you can put you in here, and that'll opt. That'll allow you to, you know, uh, break the spawn area if you would like, and build in the spawn area if you'd like, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously, you can ban people. You can ban their IP or the players, of course. Um, same thing with down here. You've got the whitelist. Then you've also got the server log, and this will tell you when the server was up, how long it was up, you know, what it did. Uh, like this was preparing the spawn for a while and everything. I think when people log in and stuff, it's also put in here when they log in and everything. So that's all that information. So that's basically it. Uh, and you can obviously, all these are different gigs as you can see. Uh, I just started it up on the one gig, but you can start it up on whatever your amount of allocation you want to uh, be put into this uh, this server all the way up to 10 gig I don't even have 10 gig so I couldn't even start on that it would it would fail right away um, as you can see over here I have 59% memory already being used but but yeah that's about it um, obviously you can type commands into this if you're more familiar with this whole thing but you can also type them in here this is also going to help you see the memory that you have being used and free uh, all that kind of stuff. This is also going to show you uh, your CPU usage. Uh, the more, I think it's just up here where it shows, but as your CPU goes up, you'll see bars of, of stuff and everything. But that's basically how you set this up. Uh, I don't need this anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, please like the video. Please favorite the video, um, and if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my website as well. Uh, you guys, you know, give me some suggestions on there and stuff. There's plenty of areas to, you know, add uh, suggestions and everything like that. So, you know, let me know what you want me to do, and I'm gonna try and do it. Like I said, uh, someone suggested that I do this for them because uh, they weren't sure, obviously, how to do it. And I hope this helps out a lot of you guys, and especially the person who put that. You didn't leave your name, so I don't know who it is. But uh, I hope this helped you. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Goodbye!